Today, we're going to talk about the differences between two popular types of steel used in watches such as Rolex, 316L and 904L. 316L steel is a low carbon version of 316 steel, which is an austenitic stainless steel. It contains 16-18% chromium, 10-14% nickel, and 2-3% molybdenum. 316L steel is known for its corrosion resistance, high ductility, and low carbon content, which makes it ideal for use in a variety of applications, including medical devices and jewelry. 904L steel is an austenitic stainless steel that contains 19% chromium, 23% nickel, and 4% molybdenum. It also contains 1.5% copper, which makes it more resistant to reducing acids like sulfuric acid. 904L steel is known for its excellent corrosion resistance and is often used in industries that require resistance to harsh chemicals, such as the oil and gas industry. The main differences between 316L and 904L steel are their chemical compositions and their resistance to corrosion. 904L steel has a higher content of nickel, chromium, and molybdenum than 316L steel, which makes it more resistant to corrosion in harsh environments. However, 316L steel is more ductile and easier to form than 904L steel, making it more suitable for certain applications. 316L steel is commonly used in industries such as healthcare, food processing, and marine engineering where corrosion resistance and low carbon content are important. 904L steel is often used in the oil and gas industry as well as in chemical processing due to its superior resistance to harsh chemicals. In conclusion, 316L and 904L steel are both high quality austenitic stainless steels that are commonly used in various industries. While 316L steel is known for its corrosion resistance, low carbon content, and ductility, 904L steel offers superior corrosion resistance in harsh environments due to its higher content of nickel, chromium, and molybdenum. The choice between these two types of steel depends on the specific application and its requirements. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining us on our channel, and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting discussions on various materials and their properties.